Good morning, Legends, and happy Tuesday. Only four days till spring break. Today, we have announcements from the SSC, CSA, and more. Our directors today are myself and Mustafa. Our producers are Tim and Rachel. Our studio engineers are Zanara and Ria. Our writers are Zanya and Gajani. Our coordinators are Selena and Katharina. And as always, a big thank you to the Lillian Osborne Parents Association for all their help with LHS TV. Now, let's roll that intro. Good morning, Legends. I'm Sylvia Tong. And I'm Tracy Liu. And these are your announcements for Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. From Ash and Brenner, Lillian's Ethics Bowl teams had a great debut at regionals at the University of Alberta. There were 16 teams judged by philosophy professors who asked great questions about everything from utilitarianism to the role of personal freedoms in society. Our teams placed third after resorting to a tiebreaker and fourth out of 16 teams. A great start to a new program. Well done, Legends, and just a reminder that there is a meeting at lunch today in room 213. See you then. From Mr. Barch, the Japan 2025 trip is now sold out. Students who, who were unable to register will receive an email in the next day outlining how the waitlist will work moving forward if additional spaces open up. Thank you for your overwhelming interest in this trip. Students who have paid their deposit and are registered for the tw Japan 2025 trip will have a short meeting in room 247 at lunch on Thursday. Now let's send it over to Nafisa for some sports announcements. Thanks, Tracy. From Athletics, last night saw our Legends team go 4-0 as both badminton and senior men's handball swept their doubleheaders. Badminton won four games to one over both Old Skona and Mac, while men's handball defeated JPP and Sal. Tonight sees our women's handball team hit the court for games against Bev Facey and Salisbury. Any current Osborne students who are interested in playing tackle football in the fall should attend a team meeting tomorrow at lunch in the sports med room. If you have any questions, please reach out to Mr. Waters. Now over to Ren for some more news. Thanks, Nafisa. From Fine Arts, Lillian Osborne is hosting a citywide rock music festival this Friday at 7 p.m. in our own McLab Theater. Come see our band, Jezdel, rock out with other bands from five other schools. Jezdel will also be performing today at lunch in the Grand Staircase. You can get tickets for the festival at lohs.ca slash tickets. Now, from the Christian Students Association, today's Easter event is Lent. Lent is observed during the 40 days leading up to Good Friday. It represents the 40 days Jesus spent in the desert without food as he prepared for his public ministry. Many people give up something important to them during Lent. Now, over to Eric for some delicious news. Thanks, Moon. From the SSC, mmm, yummy, yummy pastries. The SSC is one more fundraiser this month on Friday at lunch where we'll be selling cinnamon buns from our friends at Cobb's Bread. You'll be able to purchase a pack of six for $12 or one for $2, with all proceeds going to Larch, an organization that helps people with intellectual disabilities. Cinnamon buns, yummers. Now over to Moon with the best part of your day, Lillian Osborne's favorite quiz with segment. Thanks, Eric. Hey there, Legends. You already know what's up. Yeah, we're back at it again with another quiz with worthy questions for you. This question is so legendary that it's worthy enough to be a quiz with extreme question. You heard that, right? Yeah, I'm seeing more phones being pulled out. Keep them coming, folks. I can see through the screen. Make sure you scan that QR code so you can win yourself a legendary prize and help your class win that pizza party. But, of course, before we do anything, our winners from yesterday's quiz was were Emra M in room 238. And our teacher winner was Mr. Fitzgerald. We will be delivering your prizes to your Block 1 class. Oh, and I bet you are all wondering, how many coins were in that mystery box yesterday? Well, the correct number was 57. Yes, congrats to our lucky winner, Heron H in room 116. We will be delivering your sweet treat to your Block 1 class. Okay, now... Let's get into it. Who was the first indigenous woman to obtain a PhD in the sciences in Canada? Was it A, Autumn P, B, Lillian D, C, Tanya T, or D, Alanis O? 
Hurry and submit your answers before the end of Block 1, Legends. Tracy, Sylvia, are you guys smart enough to obtain a PhD in science? Personally, I'm not PhD smart. I'm just like the alphabet backwards smart. Care to demonstrate? Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Okay, okay, okay. And that's it for today's announcements. Check the description down below for any codes or links from today's broadcast. Don't forget to check School Zone and follow us on Instagram and X at LOHS underscore legends. Remember to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon. And be sure to check out the Student Solidarity Committee's Instagram posts to see the research on current events. Click on hashtag LOHS underscore SSE to stay up to date. And for LOHS TV, Moon L, Nafisa H, and Eric S. I'm Sylvia Tong. And I'm Tracy Liu. And, and just remember, <laughs> be legendary! legendary.